Hello, it's Michael De Groot here from Staying Alive UK and I'm just going to talk to you about Twitter lists. It's something that I've been asked about quite frequently recently and I just want to take you through a couple of really, really simple steps to use Twitter lists for engaging with your audience. As you can see, I've got about 3,000 followers or so and it's impossible for me to engage with all of those all of the time. Therefore, lists are an excellent way to um, reduce the amount of people that you want to engage with. So I've got a few lists here. So the first thing you want to do is create a new list. So let's say, hypothetically, we're going to do a, let's call it cakes list, right? So, uh, and what we'll say is uh, Twitter members uh, who make cakes, let's say. And I've got the option to make it public or private. If I leave it as public, that anyone can follow this list. And whenever you add somebody to the list, they will get a notification that you've added them to a cakes list. And, you know, you could, for example, say interesting cakes, perhaps, and they will get a notification and it's almost giving them a compliment because they feel like, oh, wow, I've been added to the list called interesting cakes. And if I'm a cake maker, then that's a compliment for me. Alternatively, if you're looking to investigate people. I'm not talking about stalking, but just researching people and you want to see what they're tweeting about and if it's somebody you want to follow. Or indeed, these may be people that you want to get in front of and connect with on other platforms like LinkedIn and have a deeper engagement with. So let's just call this for private for now because I'm just going to test this out and see how it works. So now saying, OK, you've got nobody in your list. Why don't you find some people to add to your list? So you can either add people by name or you can look for a business or a brand name or you can look for people that are already following you uh, or indeed people that you that you are following. So for now, um, let's just search for a hashtag and a hashtag is an excellent way to, you know, get some people uh, coming up who are talking about cakes in their tweets. So let's just test this. Let's just have a look at this person here. And you can see they're obviously uh, talking about food a lot and they're talking about cakes. And I can't see any hashtags but they must have them somewhere, but certainly it's picked it up on the word cake. And in fact, they are a cake shop. So, you know, this is somebody who might be interesting. Now, so you can go and look at all of these individual people and cake shops, etc. Or alternatively, you can look at the tweets that are coming through. Here we go. Here we go. Hashtag called cakes. So Scott Finney. Join us, folks, for all our exciting cakes. So what we could do is we can go to look at Scott Finney. And this is obviously a company and doing something else uh, in the Cotswolds. So there's a number of things I can do now. I can either decide to follow them, but perhaps I don't want to at this stage. All I want to do is just add them to a list. So I can add them to the interesting cakes list and because it is private at the moment nothing's going to happen so here's one person that I've added so let's go back and see if there's anybody else that might look interesting uh, who's talking about cakes so we'll just scroll down and see if we see some people it's usually best to see some people here's a strange video and See if we can find anybody. Okay, this is quite an interesting one. So let's have a look at that one. 
And here's somebody who is talking about cakes as well and about food and various other things. So this might be relevant, but you just need to decide who are the people that you might want to add to your list. So here's another person. So I can add Jajal to the interesting cakes list. There we go. Let's look and see if there's anybody else uh, on here. And we just scroll down. Here's one that I saw earlier. And they are definitely to do with cakes. And I can add them to the list as well. So we've added three people or so to the list. So if I just go back to my home page, and I'm now gonna look, I've got six lists here. So I'll go to my lists page and I've got interesting cakes and currently it's got three members in it. So now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna see all their tweets coming through. And what we can do is we can engage with those people with their tweets. So we can actually go Nata & Co, freshly made cake, we can favorite that particular one. Or we can do other things, obviously not report, or we can, um, you know, we can retweet it or we can reply to it, even though we're not even following this person. So it's really important that you decide what you want to do with this person, whether you want to follow them or not. And again, you can do that straight from the newsfeed here. You can just click plus sign and follow that person. I'm not going to do that because I only follow people, not people that have logos. Um, but I think the important thing is um, to engage with them. So, so let's say, for example, I let's look at some other lists. Here I've got TLC for micro enterprise. Here's some people that I know and who I'm connected to in some way or I already follow them. Um, and here's Mike, he's just quoting, he's a time management kind of, he's called the time doctor. So I can, you know, retweet, retweet this. Um, okay, so I've done him a favor now. I've actually retweeted him. And there's lots of tweets that he's been saying. Here's Alan Clark, and it's a Wednesday. If your work's run out of work, be the let this be a warning. So, you know, he's retweeted somebody else. So I could retweet that as well, or I could favorite his tweet. And Alan will get a message now coming through, a notification to say that somebody has favorite his tweet. And Mike, as you can see, is very, very active. And I can look at all of these people coming through and sharing or engaging with their tweets. And that's the important thing of it. So you've, you've now got a short list rather than all of the tweets that are coming through on your newsfeed, on your homepage. You know, you've got all of this coming through and there's just no way to engage with it. And it's much better to engage with the lists that you have and make use of those to become more efficient. So for now, all I've done is I've added three members to Interesting Kate, but I'm not even following them. And the important thing is they don't really know who you are if you haven't done that. But they also don't know that they've been added to the list. So then it's important to decide that when you create your new list that you make it public because if I said for example um, great um, great advice on Twitter let's say and I don't have to put in a description on that and I make it public right if I now find somebody so let's say I'm going to look for quotes, right? 
and there are people that send through lots of quotes. So here's Dalai Lama, right? He's got obviously a lot of quotes coming through. So can only you temporary well-being, da 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 da. So I can now add him to a list saying great advice on Twitter. He's going to get a notification to say that he's been added to that list. And that will make him feel good. And he also knows that, uh, and not that he does need to feel good, because he already is feeling pretty good. <laughs> but it means that somebody who, and this might not be the Dalai Lama, it could be somebody else altogether, but at least you're getting a notification coming through from this person. So Carl Pilkington, his quotes, again, I'll say great advice on Twitter. And he will get a notification to say, you've been added to a list saying great advice on Twitter. But you can do this with people um, that you want to get in front of. And the more you engage with them, the more you do things like favoriting, retweeting, replying, the more you're going to get noticed. There's no point just having lots of followers and following lots of people if you're not doing some level of engagement with people because that's how you are going to get noticed. So the next part coming up is the mobile phone and how to do this on mobile because lots of people are working on their mobile in the moment and they want to know how they can do that on there. So I'll come back in just a second. Okay, so now we're going to have a quick look on, at Twitter on the mobile. And as you can see here, uh, I'm on my Twitter on mobile. And you can see the retweet that I did from Mike uh, when I look at his list earlier. And all you need to do is press the gear um, next to your photograph to the right hand side of your photograph and then you can click on view lists and you'll see on here these are all my lists here that obviously got my face against them top right hand corner you can click a plus and add a list to uh, your series of lists and you can decide to make a private or not so in exactly the same way that we did on the on the web and you will see here that I've got these two new lists that I created earlier I've got interesting cakes then I've got all the tweets coming through I can see who the members are I can decide then that I want to follow them straight away and I can also um, manage the members and delete them so I'll do that just again really quickly so if you click on edit top right then you can edit the name make it private make it public and then also manage the members so you can remove them or you know if you're looking for them to remove them from the list you can do that as well and so those are the interesting cakes and then I should have the Dalai Lama and Carl Pilkington's tweets coming through and these are indeed the two members that I've got and I can decide to follow them as well from the list. So really, really simple in exactly the same way you can look for, you know, a particular hashtag, which is the best way to search out. So let's say your industry is around, um, I don't know, let's say um, sales for argument's sake. And we're just going to look for that hashtag sales and obviously there will be a lot of them because people are talking about sales and then you can just scroll through and then see who are the people that you might be interested in following now trish here i already follow trish i'm not sure if she's on a list but i can decide to add her to a list and she's already added as you can see to the social selling list that I've got, social selling mastermind group, she's already on my list, so I don't need to add her again. But there might be some other people that I would like to add to the list. And obviously lots of people are posting jobs. So 
a look at Kathleen and B2B sales transformation. Interesting. She hasn't got many followers, but again, I can decide to add or remove her from, from lists here and I can add her to my list. But you will have needed to have already created a list for, the, you know, sales in order to add it to that. So really, really simple. And then when you want to go to your list, you click the gear again, click view lists, then look at the particular list. So if I look at this one, it's got 86 members. I can then look at people's tweets on my mobile and I can go, right, which ones... Uh, shall I repurpose to help them out to get some to get some further expansion? Um, so uh, here's Vivica. I know her. I can retweet that, and she will get a notification uh, about that. And some really really great advice from the people that I follow, and I've obviously chosen them really really carefully. So I'm either connected with them already on LinkedIn. Now, once you've done this a little bit with people, they start to get a little bit more comfortable with who you are and what you do. And they obviously realize that you're doing this for them. So now it's very easy then to connect with these people on other platforms because they are starting to trust you a little bit more. And as it happens, Vivica von Rosen She's a LinkedIn expert and she comes up with some really, really good tips. And as you can see, she's got massive following on Twitter and she might return the favor. So with 82,000 followers, she might decide because I've retweeted her stuff that she will do the same for me. And she might look at my profile on LinkedIn and, and do the same and help me to get a bit of exposure. And that really concludes Twitter lists. And if you've got any questions or queries, please get in touch and I'll see how I can help you. Enjoy and good luck.